Smiley TV. Welcome. Hey everyone, welcome to Wiley TV's official YouTube page. For today's tutorial, I'll be showing you camera tracking. It's very simple. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right. So as you can see in my last tutorial, we left off with the plantation here. Uh, with the trees that we've made. If you haven't seen that tutorial, please check it out. Um, okay, we're going to move about the trees here. And uh, we want a very nice cinematic looking you know, scene. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a camera. And to do so, we're going to go to Miss Miscellaneous. It's going to be in the first tab. We're going to go to Miscellaneous and you see all these different options like river, rope, sequence, road, and you're gonna find camera and you click on that and it'll give you the option of where you want to place the camera uh, let's say about right there okay and we're gonna click on this to see where the camera is pointing and uh, we are going to click here to, to rotate it I'm sorry and now this is different from 3ds max 3ds max uses uh, the bubble in which you can rotate move up and down left or right which is quite useful for the tool but this is actually quite different uh, for the arrow pointing up when you click that it moves left and right which is I guess a different element but it's, it's still good all right, and uh, just go. We're gonna select back, kind of move in on the camera, see where the camera's view. Now to view in the camera's perspective, we're gonna right click, and we're gonna go to the camera because that's camera one, and this is the scene we see so far. And what we're gonna do here is make the camera move and or record the movements. All right, and to go back to the default camera or the perspective camera, just right click again here, go to default camera, and you'll see this again. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to track the view in which we want. So we're going to go to view up here, go to open view pane. We're going to go to track view, and the track view is down here. All right. And uh, as you can see, there's nothing to show here because this is the timeline in which you're going to set the keys. And um, you are going to go to, you have these three different options. You're going to go to add sequence, call it camera. And uh, in the space below, you're going to right click and you're going to say add selected entity. You got to have the camera selected. The entity is the camera, the object in which you're going to edit. All right, and it shows the camera. And basically, this whole timeline right here is going to be the whole timeline in which the camera moves. All right. And we're going to go to edit sequence because we want to edit. Uh, you want to disable the player. You don't want it to skip, so push non-skippable. You're going to go to 16 by 9 and you're gonna auto start the camera and uh, let's make the time a little bigger so we're gonna make it probably about 50 frames okay and we're gonna push OK on that so that way you have a lot of space to work with and hopefully you'll get good at tracking cameras or the view of the camera okay so let's get started what we're going to do here is we're not going to worry about this so much yet. And uh, what we're going to do to track the camera is we're going to push record here. Um, we're going to move the camera. All right. And let's say let's move the camera about this much in time and what, what we're gonna do is move the camera outwards about about that much what you see here is basically 
the, the beginning. You see this line right here? Basically, I'll show you very quick. That's basically in time where you want the camera to go. And in time, you're going to see that if I move back and forth, the camera moves along. All right. So let's just keep going forward in time. I'm going to go over here. Just move up a little so we can see better. Uh, let's say let's move the camera upwards. We're going to move it forward like this. Okay, let's move forward in time again. Go to 24. And we're going to move the camera down because we want it to look as. And we also want to rotate the camera so that it's always looking. Let's look up to go down a little bit. We want the camera to be pointing towards the trees which is what we want basically um, I'm just going to point the camera forward let's go forward in time again alright now that we have the cameras tracked already basically we're going to look back from point one and uh, yeah let's just put this out of the way for now and you're gonna click this because you don't want to see anything you're gonna right click on perspective you're gonna go to camera camera one now let's see how good we track the camera basically you have all your your keys set so you're basically telling the computer where you want the camera to go and how slow and remember the farther these keys are apart the slower the camera you want it a very you want it to look very natural because of this tutorial it may not look natural at all but i hope you still enjoy it and uh yeah let's take let's take a look i know it's not natural but still looks okay you know this is how they work with uh, cameras so well I hope you've all enjoyed my tutorial today I hope it wasn't too much um, if you enjoyed my video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be bringing you guys more tutorials. Uh, yeah, thanks.